Hey guys, Mario vs. Peachy. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey guys, Mario vs. Peach here, welcoming you back to Mario Kart Wii. In the last episode, we did the Banana Cup with Toad, and we did okay, I guess, but we probably could have done a lot better had I actually bothered to practice a bit. Um, of course, once again, we are up to the medium weights, and we're going to go Princess Daisy. I'm going to start being some of these girls, so I could be Princess Peach, but hey, I'm pretty sure everyone beats Princess Peach. Uh... I'm going to go the Mac bike just because it's my preferred bike. I would show off other bikes. Actually, I can show off another bike because it, it kind of performs like the um, Mark bike. Uh, we have Leaf Cup this time. Oh, excuse me. I've just eaten lunch, so I'm, I'm kind of a bit gassy. <laughs> yeah, so we have the Leaf Cup this time. Desert Hills from the DS game. I was wondering why my vibration was going off there, but that was because we had fireworks. Alright, three, two, we're gonna start accelerating and Daisy takes off. Alright, let's hope. Oh, good, good, so I can show off a little neat trick that I like to do on the Grand Prix side of things. Take this, sh I'll take this shortcut here. Always do that when I have my mushrooms. So, yeah. Put that in front there. Alrighty. Yeah, so DS Desert Hills, just stay on the white, lighter um, areas of the sand, and you'll be fine. If you go too far out into the dark sand, you will, uh, it'll count as if you fell off the track and it'll replace you. The sun from Super Mario Brothers 3 is up there, so we gotta watch out for that. It'll spit fireballs. Luckily, it doesn't chase us down, so. I guess that's good. Um, the DS version is known for having a challenge mode in it, which I think is a fantastic idea. I mean, this has uh, competitions in it, but I love... We, the competitions in this is kind of... Um, it's pretty much like the uh, challenge mode in the DS version, which I wish they'd brought back for uh, Mario Kart 7, to be honest. Um, Basically, in the DS version, you'd have set challenges, and there'd be bosses as well that you'd have to fight in the end. Oh, and it was so good, like, that was probably the mo the best Mario Kart I played up until that point. I, I don't really have a favourite Mario Kart, because all the Mario Karts that come out end up being my favourite as it goes on. Because they just do so much, and they surprise me with so many things, and they show how much they've innovated all the time. Oh, and it's just amazing. Should have got those mushrooms there, but I think we're good. We're pretty far in front. See, this is why I be medium weights. Just look at me. Better controlled with them. I can do things that I can't do with other characters. Now I'm going to throw these bananas in the front. Daisy is, Daisy's voice actor must love portraying Daisy, to be honest, because, like, just listening to her voice, she's always loud and, like, Compared to Peach, who was more, like, quiet... Well, Peach has gotten a bit more out there lately. And then now you've got, like, Rosalina, who's there, who's more quiet and reserved. And she, she'll, like... She'll be, uh, excited, but not that much. Now, this is my personal favourite course, and this is what I call my best course. This is the course that I can... I'm, I'm pretty good at, and I hope that it ends up in some tournaments that I'm going to be entering in later on. Come on, get out of the way, King Boo. Basically, I'm going to get you to go away from me. Wow, King Boo. You're persistent. I'm not going to take the short... I know there is a shortcut, but I don't know how to... I know the shortcuts, like the cheating and stuff that you can do in this game, but to be honest, I don't actually know how to execute them, so <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Daisy's going pretty good for me. I love this. This course is actually one of my favourite courses in Mario. It's probably my favourite course in Mario Kart Wii. I love the Bowser car, uh, GBA castles. Oh, jeez, I didn't see that power block there, to be honest. So it got covered up by my... I was wondering why my, my vibration was going off, but I thought that was the thwomps. Keep placing items out. 
Item placement in this course, just do it around the corners and where like these jumps are. Just to try and screw up your computer opponents a bit. I'm gonna have to... Oh, I landed uh, too quickly so I couldn't actually... Is King Boo behind me? No, he's not. He's... Oh, they're all pretty far behind. So I think we've got pretty good at the moment. Cool. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it was hard to try and pick characters I wanted to be, because I wanted to kind of be characters people knew, but I also at the same time wanted to show off, like, secret characters and people you couldn't be in, like, other Mario Karts and stuff. Eh. There's plenty more Mario Karts out there that we can show off our skill. Oh, jeez, they're catching up quite quickly. This rubber band AI is true to its name. I can keep this red shell out. I have a habit lately of throwing items before I need to, especially in this game. Because in, in Mario Kart 7, they didn't have the, um, see, the fake item blocks. The fake item box in this one doesn't actually deflect items. It deflects it in the N64 version, but for some reason, I mean, I can understand why it doesn't in this, but, uh, whatever. i can take this ramp once again. Oh. Well, that's okay. Daisy can do this. She's got this. Right, grab this item, what are we gonna get? Oh, another pal block! Oh, good and dandy. See, this is why I call this course my favorite course. I should not have used that. Ugh. Normally here, if I've got enough speed, I like to jump over that because the red shell goes into the lava. But it's okay. Okay, Daisy, calm down. Alright, so... What's next? What's next? I think we have... Uh... Oh, DK's Jungle Parkway! In all its beautiful gloriness. Alright, we're gonna... Let's do this! Let's do this! And starting off, here we go around the first bend. There are some characters watching on the boat. That boat is infamous because in the N64 version, I'll show you something that is... There we go, that'll stop King Boo from drafting. Um, this ramp here, you could actually control how far you went. Like, it didn't... This one just set, it put you on a set path. Whereas in the N64 version, you could just pretty much go as far as you could. Oh, gravity takes into effect and you do sort of plummet. But you can sort of cheat. But sometimes the boat would get in front of you and would actually screw you up. And because it's automated now, you can't actually place items in the middle of the, um, of the ramp and, like, make people fall. So, it's kind of annoying, but at the same time, I guess it's good. Oh, no. That was... So, if you have a mushroom, you can go up this dirt mound here and kind of skip a little bit. Ow. Oh, there was another blue shell. Two blue shells already. Drafted here by Bowser Jr. I think he fell off the edge. I'm not too sure. I don't think so. All right. Who's behind me? I want to try and get Rosalina. So I shoot this in front. I might be regret. Whoa! Mario's high tailing it in front of me here. Kill, kill. All right. What have we got. Who's tailing us this time? I'm gonna place that there around the bend. Ow! Oh no, Mario! Mario, I love you. Come here, Mario. The only time I like getting that is if I am near the finish. Oh, whoa, that was close. Stopped on a dime there. Yeah, so, um... What was I, I was going to talk about something. I had a, a topic in my head, but then that blue shell kind of scared me. Throw that at me. Ah, item placements. Um, Especially when you're trying to... Learning about item placements, I, I don't think this is a strategy, but this is my own strategy that I've sort of implemented, is about item strategies. Item placements is something that can actually be very, very useful. If you know certain paths that computer opponents take, it can be really helpful for um, just using... Uh, for getting those three-star ranks, because you can sort of keep them behind, and even if you do get blue shell and stuff, it won't actually affect you. So, just try it. Also, it might be useful in tournaments too, but I'm not sure. Tournament people obviously are more wise. But if you 
put it around bends and stuff, like tight turns, then it means that people have to sort of go out more and like take a, a wider, because the, the more narrow you are, like the more closer you are to the track, like in the bend and stuff, the better. Place some items on the bridge, so especially narrow pathways, put them there, put them there, because you know people are going to get hit because everyone has to go down that path. So obviously put items there because it makes it a bit more trickier, especially when there's like gaps uh, between them or like there's certain jumps that you've got to take. Obviously Mario Kart 8 isn't, isn't so, I guess, diverse with all that sort of stuff because there, there are a lot more bends and turns in that game and because of the flying mechanic. The flying mechanic can sort of be helpful for avoiding items, but most of the time red shells home in on them anyways. Get out of my way, Mario. If you make me fall, I will not be happy with oh, that chain jump. Cool. So we have Mario Circuit for the GameCube. A, a good course, a favourite of mine. Right. King Boo behind me. Oh, missed the item with that. I got Luigi. That was a kiss from Daisy to Luigi, I guess. Ugh. Oh boy, ooh. I know in the GameCube version, I think they kind of stretched back those piranha, well not stretched back, but the piranha plants stretch out a little bit more to hit you. But I also think because the courses, the courses are wider, as I've said before, in this um, in this game. They're wider because of the um, 12 people races now, so obviously those piranha plants have sort of been pushed back a bit. So in the GameCube version, it was very easy to get hit by those at the last minute and sort of get thrown off. So yeah. Daisy's doing very good for me. That's why I love my medium cards. We have, funny enough, the last cup is going to be done by heavyweights. So, yeah. So we've pretty much been all the classes two times. I haven't showed off every character because uh, characters are just personal preferences. I'm just being different characters. To be honest, if I was doing it my way, I would have just been Mario in every single race and not even bothered changing it up. But, got to have diversity in games. Got to have... Got to make my Let's Play different, so... Yeah. Alright, Daisy on her Dolphin Dasher. Now, I probably won't be tackling um, another Mario spin-off for a while. I do have in mind of what I'm doing next, but that won't be until I've finished off the rest of my other games. Obviously, of course, if you're watching this in the future, it's already been done. So, yeah. But that was the last course of... Uh, the Leaf Cup, so... I guess, now Daisy gets to do her victory lap. With Daisy, Rosalina, and Mario. And there we go, it's Daisy up on top with Rosalina and Mario. So, in the final and last episode of Mario Kart, whoa, triple star rank! I think that's the first time I got that for this cup, unless I'm mistaken. But there's a triple star rank, guys. Got it on recording. So that's how you get a triple star rank. Um, in the last episode of Mario Kart Wii, we're going to tackle the final cup, the Lightning Cup. I will see you guys then.